question on the press freedom day. So on the anniversary, at the same time, we see China just announced we're doing its uh, counter espionage law, which worries a lot of journalists, also scholars, <coughs> investors. Currently, we have at least 127 journalist detained in China, including three foreign reporters detained on espionage charge. What is the administration take on China suppressing even more freedom of speech? Is the press freedom part of the conversation between U.S. and China? Thank you. So, look, what I can say and is that we are doing everything that we can uh, through our diplomacy. Uh, and foreign assistance to support journalists, uh, to help them keep them safe, uh, hold uh, hold accountable the autocrats and their enablers who continue to repress a free independent media. And that's what you uh, can, uh, can count on from this administration. Uh, that's what the President made very clear in his statement today, but also his remarks that you heard directly from uh, the President just this past Saturday. And that's why we're lifting up this day, this 30th, uh, 30th World Press uh, Freedom Day. Uh, and so uh, we are committed. We have put forth tools uh, to deal with ways uh, to continue to make sure that we're protecting uh, wrongfully detained and uh, Americans who are held hostage. You heard us announce just some uh, tools just last week, and we'll continue uh, to do everything that we can. Again, I said this earlier, uh, this is an administration that has brought home more than a dozen uh, uh, wrongfully detained and Americans held hostage in his first two, uh, two years of this administration. So that shows our commitment, and we'll continue to, to work towards that.